Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a dynamic min-max range chart in Microsoft Excel. By doing this, you'll be able to display minimum values, maximum values, and also the range to show you how big that gap is between the minimum and maximum values. In this example, I've got some tech products here listed with minimum prices and maximum prices. I'm gonna plot these on the chart to show you how we can set this up. The very first step is to calculate that range. And that's a very simple calculation. I'm just gonna create a field here in column D, take that max price and subtract the min price. And that's our range. That's basically the difference between the min and the max. And so, so by doing this, we can see right away that the biggest variance was in the smartwatch where it's priced at almost $250 and has a low value, a, a minimum value of around $80. So because it's a high priced item, there's a lot of fluctuation there. Now for items like a flash drive where the price is fairly low, there's not going to be as big of a range. So it gives us a, a bit of an idea as to how, how big of a fluctuation there is and how much variance there is. So it could be that, you know, one item is priced very low because its features are, are low, it's cheaply made, whereas a, a high priced item might be more expensive. Now, there's probably not going to be as much variation for a flash drive as there might be for a smartwatch, but this is uh, uh, some of the things that you can get from looking at the range in, in values. Now that I've got this set up, I, I can start to plot this on a chart in Excel. So as long as I've got my data selected somewhere, I'm going to go to insert and open up the charts window. And I'm going to go under all charts, select bar, and you want to make sure you're selecting a stacked bar chart, not just a normal clustered one. And the one I'm going to select is the one that only has a few items for the legend. I only want the min, the max, and the range, right? I don't want this set up because this is a lot messier. That's not what I want. I want this one that just has the min, max, and the range because those are, those are the values I'm going to stack. So I'm going to select that, hit OK. And so I've got my initial chart set up and ready to go. But the one thing I need to change is this hierarchy. So if I right click on my chart and select select data, the order that it's stacking these values in is the same order as my fields here, min, max, and range. But I want, to, I want the range to be in the middle. So I'm gonna select that, click this arrow up, and now it's gonna adjust that. I'm gonna hit okay. And now the next thing I'm going to do is just the fill colors because the min and the max basically are placeholders. I don't want them to actually be displayed on here. So if I select that, I'm going to the home tab, select this fill option to no fill. And you could also adjust this by right clicking format data series and doing the same thing from here. It makes no difference. So fill, no fill, doesn't matter. And now just like that, I only see the range. And so the benefit of doing it this way is that that minimum value, that minimum price, basically forced my range to start where that minimum value is. And so that's the whole purpose of putting that, putting that in there and charting that. But what I can also do is add the data label. So I'm going to select any one of those, um, those, those first bar charts. And as you can see, they're, they're highlighted, um, the, they're selected, but they show as blank, but, but, but they're technically still there. I'm going to right click, add data label. And when I do so now I get those numbers in there. And what I can do is right click format the data labels, not the series, but the labels. And you can see there's different options for the label position. Right now it's set to center. I can select inside end, which is going on the left hand side, or inside base, which starts basically at the start. Now, I may need to spread this chart out a little bit more just to see that. So what I like to do is go back to format data labels and put them inside the end. So they're on the leftmost side. And again, I may need to stretch this chart a little bit just so it displays properly. And one thing I'm actually going to do is adjust this range. So right click, format this axis, set it to let's say about maybe 300, just to shrink it. There we go. So now we can display these values easily. And at the same time, we still see our ranges. So one thing I like to do with labels, just to make them a bit easier to read, especially depending on your background, is if you select them, 
you can right click for, uh, change data label shape. So I'll like use this rounded um, rectangle with the rounded corners. And by doing so, it stands out a little bit, has that nice outline. And so you can see where those labels are. Another thing you may wanna do is get rid of some of these grid lines. Right now I've got this, this line here for this axis, but I can get rid of that as well. If I go select the axis under the paint bucket, there is an option for the line. I'm gonna select no line just to get rid of it. Just actually still there. So let me just make sure I've got the right one. So I wanna make sure format axis and select no line and no fill color. And so that line is technically gone, but these are actually part of the grid lines. So let's go on, select these grid lines and also get rid of them, no lines as well. So sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to get rid of the lines that uh, you, you don't want. So you may wanna check that you're selecting the axis and selecting the grid lines as well. What I'm also gonna do is add the data label for the maximum value. I've got my minimum value, but let's now add the maximum. So I'm gonna select over here and because I know that's where the rest of my bar chart is. And again, I'm gonna right click, add data label and format that data label. This time, instead of inside the end, which goes all the way to the end, I want it inside the base at the very start. So that way we've got our starting value and our ending value. And again, I'm gonna right click, change data label shape. So I've got the rounded rectangle. And so now, now I've got a much cleaner setup where we've got the minimum values, the maximum, and we've got that range. And because I've got these values plotted, I don't really need this, um, this axis here. And I don't need the legend as well, just to make it a little bit cleaner. So at this stage, all that's left is really just any formatting uh, things you may wanna do. So like changing the chart title, I may wanna call this, you know, um, product price ranges. And what I also like to do for the chart design, I'm gonna add some grid lines. So add chart element. I'm gonna add the grid lines going horizontally, just so it's a lot easier to see that this is my smartwatch range, falls within the uh, uh, min max range. So it's clear what relates to what. One thing you can obviously do is adjust the bar chart color. So if I select this, I can go under the fill options, change the solid fill color. So perhaps it's a light blue, add a, add a border, a solid line, uh, dark, dark background. There's all sorts of settings that we can apply. We can add a shadow effect. So there's presets just to make it pop and stand out a little bit. But as you can see, a lot of ways that, you know, we, we can enhance the look and feel of this chart by, by adding things like an outline for our minimum and maximum values by, by changing the look of our, our bar chart. So it's entirely up to you. There's a lot of flexibility in here. So to make all these values uh, display correctly, I would suggest, you know, making sure you're adjusting um, the size of your chart, uh, adjusting the axis range, because really, We've got that maximum value, but we don't need to display all the way to the end because we're just interested in that bar chart at the very beginning, just to pull those values. The rest of it, we don't really need it. We're just interested in, in the values for the min and the max and calculating that range. And by doing so, it's a lot easier now to visualize all, all these data points. We can see that flash drive ha has a fairly narrow range and also not a big difference between their, um, their, their, lowly priced and also have a small range whereas the smartwatch you can see is the most expensive and also has the broadest range so you can see a lot more data by setting up a chart like this because it shows you a lot more information than you know if you were just to plot the prices or the average price or the maximum or just the minimum so it's easy to see visually and it gives you a whole lot of information all in one simple chart so that's a wrap for this video if you did like it please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Thanks for watching.